I'd like to start with this word from uh, Albert. <laughs> mm -hmm. But first question, why actually Athena? When it was time to define a name for the company, I knew immediately there must be a goddess. I am a woman, it must be a goddess. And uh, we live in this uh, western part of uh, the globe, so I wanted to relate to our own uh, history, so a Greek goddess. And who is the goddess for wisdom, courage, and strategy? This is Athena. And if we look at the statues and pictures uh, of Athena, we see her uh, quite a few times uh, presented with an oar. And all is also the symbol of uh, wisdom. In certain other uh, traditions, it is also the symbol for happiness and protection. So we decided to use this name. <coughs> but for us, all has also another meaning. All means oneness. With this program, it is about to become whole again and remember these three non-physical senses. We all have them. And this wisdom is within our body as well, in every cell. So it's not about really learning, it's about remembering. Then wisdom, we have a lot of wisdom. This is our human heritage on the whole planet. And certain indigenous people have never forgotten, but we have forgotten in the West. For over 800 years, this wisdom has been neglected, and we have put at the very top of our, let's say, considerations and of our way of living, and also in our education system, the rational mind. And then leadership. Why do we want to address ourselves to leaders if we want to initiate a change in society and in our economy? It is necessary that we address ourselves to people who are already today or who will be later in positions of power so that they can really indeed achieve something and influence and bring this necessary change in the whole economic system. I come back to this um, expression I mentioned at the very, very beginning. It needs a revolution in consciousness. This is not Simon Gino saying this. I am absolutely 100% and more convinced that it is necessary. But where did I read this? This comes from a um, Norwegian um, philosopher. Anders Indus. I can simply recommend his book extremely highly. This is absolutely fascinating. In German, it is called Quantum Invention. 